When you look at packet 14, you're going to see a page that looks like this. Uh, it says review electron energy levels. Uh, what the, basically that these charts are, are ways for you to arrange the electrons. Um, remember, electrons don't like being near each other because they have a negative charge, but they want to be as close to the nucleus as possible. On the test, I'll give you these numbers. These are just how many electrons can fit at that energy level. It's kind of like seats at a theater. Uh, so they're going to fill in first at the first row, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. Uh, so when we look at iodine, and I've already filled this in, but when you look at iodine, iodine has 53 electrons because its atomic number is 53 on the periodic table. Basically, you can use this chart to help you arrange them. Uh, you just fill the energy in, or fill in these bubbles in one at a time, starting at the first level, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, uh, and you just count to 53. So if you look, these are all shaded in to represent each of the 53 electrons that iodine has. So you start here, fill this in, 1, 2, then 8, then 18, and then 25 in this last energy level. There's a couple open spots left that iodine doesn't use, which is okay. Uh, so then all you need to do with that column on uh, number 15 on the homework is just write the number that is in the row. So 2, 8, 18, and then 25. One thing that you can do to check your work is if you add this up, it's going to equal the 53 uh, electrons that we said iodine has. Um, hopefully this helps. Uh, you can use this table or kind of make tallies in that column if I don't give you the bubbles. But on a test, I'll give you this column right here, and I will give you these bubbles to fill in. Uh, that question, I wanted to see if you guys can do that without using these bubbles. Uh, so if you have any more questions, just let me know. Uh, call me or email me, and um, we'll get that worked out, okay? Thank you. Bye.